Hey guys, Hannah here from Heels and Hormones. Now I think everybody should be looking after their skin and it is so important to use the right products. Obviously that is very personal depending on your skin type. So I'm just gonna be speaking about my experiences and what works for me. Now I've spoken on my blog about having endometriosis. With that, I've changed my birth control over the last year and unfortunately that has taken a toll on my skin. I was one of those annoying people the last few years that didn't really have to worry about spots or breakouts and had reasonably clear skin. Now going back much further, I did have acne as a teen, but I went on Roaccutane. So, right into the products. I have been using, probably only in the last month, a new brand that I've been trying out and found really, really helpful and it's called Acne Out and it's by Biofresh. So this is an Irish skincare brand and I actually found them via Instagram. A model friend of mine, Kerry Nicole Blank, using this and she said it really helped for hormonal skin breakouts. So at this stage, I was willing to try anything and uh, so I ordered a whole load of stuff. So first thing is use something gentle to remove your makeup. I have been using this Bioderma. I've talked about this micellar water. It's super gentle and sensitive. And it really works for my skin, just getting everything off before I go in with my cleanser. So, here we are. I know it looks just like a simple bar of soap. This is in fact the first Acne Out part. It's the soap with salicylic acid. Now, I use this first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Now, I specifically target my problem areas. So, around my chin and jaw, and I get some around my mouth. This is my next step. So I've already used the soap this morning, but I've left the rest of my skincare routine so I can do it on camera. Put a little bit onto a cotton pad and dab as such, just on your problematic areas. You can literally put this straight on any kind of pimples. I kind of get you know those horrible bumps that are under the skin? The worst kind, you can't really get rid of them. So I will literally hold it on for a few seconds on any specific spot. Now once you've kind of gotten rid of your cotton pads, I don't know how it's been here so I'll do that later, you move on to moisturization. Now I've been using this one because I was suffering from some dry patches. I know, it's so annoying. You have oily skin and then you have dry patches when you're trying to combat the oil. The important part about this is, when you're using an acne product, it can be very drying. You know, you can usually see sometimes where it's getting rid of your excess oils, then you're getting flaky and patches with your makeup. It's an absolute nightmare. One to two pumps, depending on how dry my skin is. I work it all over my face. Now, I'm sure there are going to be some fancy ways of applying moisturizer but I usually just use kind of round upward motions. This does soak in and leave a kind of a matte finish once it's dry. I must say the very very important ingredient to look for when you're looking for any moisturizer to use when you have breakouts is something called non-comedogenic. I don't know if I'm saying that right but I'm sure you can find it on the back. Now, this particular one is a hydrating cream for skin aggressively treated with anti-acne products, aka this little bad boy. So he, apologies, that's my cat. This particular one is very soothing, has an anti-inflammatory effect and retains moisture and deeply hydrates. It also has vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant, and it also stimulates skin renewal. So the turnover of your skin cells can also help clearing up spots. Major bonus. Now, during the day, I've actually been using this moisturizer. My other one I'd be using, kind of if I'm just lazing around the house or at night time I use this because it doesn't have any SPF. Whilst I recently got this, maybe only two weeks ago, because it has SPF and that's so important, especially when you're using harsher ingredients like acids. So this one diminishes red spots Yes, please, because we all know when even your spots have kind of dried up, you often get left little marks. I know I have loads around here. 
and this one has SPF 30, so it's reasonably high level. Sometimes if I'm really dry, I'll actually use both creams. You can see this one comes out a little bit more yellow than the other one, but it's surprisingly nice when it goes on. I'm gonna double up today. I find it easier to pack this one in. Okay, so there we go. Also, not leaving a very oily residue like some SPF creams I've tried before can leave you looking quite shiny. This is more a matte finish as well, but it does leave your skin feeling quite soft and hydrated. Now, my next product that I'm talking about is eye cream. I did put up a post recently on the blog which featured this. It's the Balance Active Formula Snake Venom Eye Cream. Now, don't worry, there's not actually snake venom in this. <laughs> but just a similar neuropeptide, which kind of relaxes the muscles around your eyes. I guess it's like a non-surgical Botox kind of effect, but not as extreme. I've really noticed a difference in my eyes in such a short period of time. I've been using this for about a month. I literally pat it on like this. And then massage again. I do my upper lid as well. If you have the time, do give your eyes a little massage. You've seen I've used little tapping motions like this, so you get less puffiness. I got this for under three pounds in B&M. I think they do sell it in other stores, but I'm not 100% sure, but you can go onto the Balance website. My next wonder product is Dr. Lip. Now, don't be put off because it does say on the front that is original nipple balm. So it was originally for breastfeeding moms that would have cracked nipples. I know it sounds, ugh, gives me shivers, but they figured out that is also good for your lips. It works the best for me, honestly. Helps soothe dry, cracked skin, famous for its thick, hyperallergenic, ultra hydrating and counter irritant qualities. You can use it on lips, nipples, cuticles, feet, abrasions, eczema, minor incisions, and any skin dry areas. Sounds very good to me. I haven't actually tried it on anywhere else, but maybe I will. This even says it's good for lip priming, mixing pigments, cheek shine, and eyebrow shaping. Hmm, I might have to get back to you on those ones. But it's amazing base. I always put this on before I do my makeup. I find any kind of lip colour that I put on after sits much better, doesn't kind of go into those little dry cracks. Apologies, my phone going off. Just too popular. So yeah, as I was saying, those are my kind of wonder products. I would definitely recommend anybody that's having some skin breakouts like myself to give these a go. Often they say that different areas of the face can kind of indicate different issues of where the cause of your acne is coming from so I'm not 100% if that's like definitely true but for me I have noticed with hormonal kind of times aka all the time for me um, it's definitely the lower part of my face now don't hold me to it if you see me with a big spot on my forehead well then I'm just unlucky about that too but I hope you've all enjoyed and maybe let me know if you've tried any of these similar products or ones that work really well for you. Till next time.